Hi and welcome. In this video, I will discuss three technologies which are used to backup your data at an off-site location so that in case of any disaster, you can recover your data from that off-site location. Now, these uh, three technologies are electronic vaulting, remote journaling, and remote mirroring. Now, these three uh, backup technologies are part of your disaster uh, recovery effort so that uh, in case of any disaster, you can ensure the continued viability of your organization services using these uh, backup technologies. Now, the selection of any one of these technologies depend upon the computing requir requirements of your organization and the resources available with your organization. Now, in electronic vaulting, uh, we carry out bulk transfer of data files to a remote site and this uh, remote sites uh, could be any alternate recovery sites for example redundant site hot site swamp site or cold site depending upon the time required to restore operations for example uh, the redundant site can restore your operation in real time and cold site requires weeks or months and these uh, sites uh, can be managed by yourself or by any vendor which is providing you managed services. Now, electronic vaulting is most uh, feasible for warm site because in warm site we have system and hardware configured, but we need data uh, from backup, uh, which is provided by this electronic vaulting solutions. Now, one issue with the electronic vaulting is that it uh, requires significant delays uh, resulting from the retriever of data from the electronic vault and then to apply this data to the production server so that you can start operating your services again in case of any disaster. Now the next option is the remote journaling and in remote journaling we do not carry out bulk transfer of data files but we only carry out the transfer of DB transaction logs or database transaction logs which are updated or changed since last bulk transfer. So this uh, data transfer or the log uh, transfer is more frequent, uh, for example, on hourly basis. Now, this remote journaling has less delays as compared to the electronic vaulting because we carry out the transfer of logs, not the data file, which was the case in electronic vaulting. So in case of any uh, disruption or any disaster uh, where you have to operate your operation from an alternate site you can retrieve the logs uh, from the remote using this remote journaling and, and then apply it to the production server so that you can again start operating your services now the third option is the remote mirroring now this remote mirroring is the most advanced option out of these three options uh, but it is not most ex uh, expensive in some times. So actually you maintain a live remote server at backup site which receive live or real-time data transactions which are happening at the primary site of your operations. So in case of any disruption or disaster to your primary site, this live remote server mirrored with your live data can immediately takes over and start uh, performing or services to the clients. So this remote mirroring is most feasible for redundant site uh, where you can, you need uh, to operate in real time in case of any disruption or disaster or maybe for hot, hot site where you have a cushion of, for example, an hour to start operating or resuming your services in case of any disruption. Now one issue with this remote mirroring is that it requires a lot of resources in case of infrastructure and personnel. And moreover, there are processing overhead with the mirrored server because uh, the, each database transaction requires to be mirrored to a remote server in real time. Now there are certain controls which you can impl implement in each of these three options. For example, in case these services are provided by 
the vendor then uh, you do not uh, take for granted the vendor wording rather you insist them to provide you the written definition of their services uh, in the contracts for example the storage uh, which they are providing and the bandwidth uh, which they ensure will be available in case of any uh, disaster and also the time to recover uh, data from any backup solution in case of any disaster moreover you carry out surprise checks or uh, periodic checks or tests to ensure that these backup technologies are performing as intended so th this was all from my side uh, please stay connected to my channel for similar videos thank you